this is the SQL Server security module is going on and um, here we will see the demo uh, we will see how the client is connecting to the named instance through the browser service so let's move to the SQL Server configuration manager uh, this is the SQL Server configuration manager and in this SQL Server configuration manager all the instances will be displayed and uh, now only this is the named instance which is running and this na its name is SQL Server 2017 so this server is using the uh, this uh, dynamic ports and what are the protocols for this server SQL Server 2000 protocol the TCP IP protocol is enabled and this TCP IP protocol using the dynamic port we can set the uh, port here and right now the dynamic port is enabled for this server so now I will stop the browser service and after stopping the browser service I will try to connect with the SQL server through the SQL server management studio SQL client will try to connect with the server and uh, we will see if the browser service is stopped how to, uh, this named instance can we connect or not so the browser service is stopping it is taking some time browser service is uh, stopped and we have to restart the uh, SQL Server instance also so that it will take the new configurations and after restarting the SQL Server we will uh, try to connect with the server so it's uh, restarting it is taking some time so service is uh, restarted and uh, now browser service is stopped and uh, I'm going to connect with this server. This is the SQL Server Management Studio, and uh, I will disconnect and will connect. And this is the instance uh, which we need and uh, here is the option for the protocol is the tcp ip protocol we are we will try to connect through the tcp ip protocol and the browser service is not working right now so it's trying to connect and it's uh, checking and uh, browser service is not working so it will not uh, connect with the server because browser service is stopped and now the client don't know about the port number which is the, the, which is the browser service responsibility to uh, provide the information about the instance so browser service is not working so it will not connect because it don't know the port now I'm going to enable the browser service and then I will try to connect So it will take some time. So I will pause. The browser service is started. Now it's running. So I will go to the SQL Server Management Studio and will try to connect with the named instance. So this is the named instance 2017, and I'm using the TCP/IP protocol to connect with the server. And now browser service is working. So browser service is responsible to provide the information about the instance browser server will give the port number to this client and then the client will use that port number to connect with this named instance so browser service is playing its role 